Japan's defense minister says a Chinese ship used a fire-controlled radar to target a Japanese naval vessel. Bloomberg explains the radar is designed to calculate a weapon's firing range, and using the radar can be an indicator of hostile intent. Japanese officials say a self-defense force helicopter was similarly targeted last month. The Japanese government is summoning a Chinese envoy in protest of the incidents. At the heart of the dispute, a chain of uninhabited islands. Still, NHK reports they've been hotly contested between China and Japan for centuries, especially as of late. The territory is in an area potentially rich in natural resources. Japan controls the islands. China and Taiwan claim them. The Japanese government nationalized the islands last September. Chinese surveillance ships have been navigating near the territory ever since. CNN reports over the past few months, anti-Japan riots have erupted in southern China near the Japanese embassy over the dispute. One blogger points out we can't forget there are two sides to this story. A strong narrative has taken hold in the West and much of East Asia about China's behavior, which starts with the proposition that China is the provocateur. A report by the Malaysian Times says Chinese officials are optimistic new Secretary of State John Kerry will mean a change in the U.S.'s attitude towards the island dispute. The paper quoted outgoing Secretary of State Hillary Clinton as saying two weeks ago that America opposed any unilateral actions that would seek to undermine Japanese administration of the Dayu Islands. But perhaps Clinton had reason to suggest continued Japanese control of the islands. The Guardian previously reported the U.S. controlled the islands post-World War II from 1945 to 1972 before it relinquished control to the Japanese. The U.S. has urged leaders of Japan and China to solve the dispute peacefully. For Newsy, I'm Katie Brennan. Multiple sources, The Real Story.